for your survival in the world of Primal. As you fend off kings and queens of the underworld, to survive, you'll need not only to master our classic combat system, but you must use your wits as well. While exploring the realms of Primal, you can control both Jen and Scree, and it is up to you to decide who is best for each challenge. Jen and Scree have both got very different abilities. Jen's abilities are all based around her demon forms, so with each demon form she gets a different weapon and all her abilities are kind of very focused towards combat and that side of things. Scree doesn't fight at all, so his side of things is much more kind of based on the exploration and puzzles. So he can climb walls, he can jump, he can lift heavy objects. It's very much based around his kind of strength. The puzzles in the game are really going to require the player to think about who they should use really between Jen and Scree. Sometimes they're going to need to use Scree because of abilities he has, sometimes Jen. A puzzle that springs to mind is at the start of the first realm you play, Jen hasn't got any weapons at that point, she can't fight, she's not got a knife yet. And then you come across a cave that's got lots of nasty beasts inside that she's not going to go in there because she's going to get eaten. But Scree being made of stone isn't particularly tasty looking to these creatures, so he can go through there. And then because they're kind of quite beast, kind of wolf-like kind of creatures, they're actually scared of fire. So he goes off finds a torch and then brings it into the cave and then he can keep all those animals at bay so Jen can go through unharmed. So there's more that kind of puzzles we've got. Avoiding the enemy is not always possible. In Primal, the combat system is reminiscent of classic fighting games. The combat system is kind of quite inspired by games like Soul Calibur and Tekken. What we wanted to do was capture the essence of a proper fighting game. So we have a full combat system that has all the kind of moves you'd expect. Blocks, parries, counter attacks combos, so there's a real sort of power, I think, to the, the combat sequences that we have. She's got her four basic attacks that she has that she just pull off if you just hit the button once, but each attack has got a little window of opportunity that you can then go on to do a combo attack. So we've got about 20 attacks for each of the different demon forms that she's got, so it's quite a lot of moves. And the deeper down the combo list you get, the cooler, the more powerful, the more impressive looking attacks you get. And the other thing that, that I think is a very cool aspect is when you're fighting a character and you get them to a point where they're stunned, you either have finishing moves that you can then do. So each of the different demon forms has different finishing moves that are obviously the really cool ones in terms of you know, doing some really over-the-top things. Jen will need all those moves because each enemy is uniquely cunning and powerful. You try to make all of our enemies challenging in some way. You basically have soldier types who just come in and try to pummel you. But then you've got things like sentries, so they've got big shields, so you've got to kind of bide your time and wait for their open moments before you come in and hit them. On top of those kind of things, obviously, we've got bosses as well. In each of the different kingdoms, we have kind of lead characters who are normally kind of kings and queens. And some of these are going to be allies, but some of them are going to be pretty nasty adversaries they're going to have to face. In the Aquas Kingdom, for example, the king has been mutated from being the good Undyne that he should have been into this kind of horrible mutant monster thing. Mastering Jen's demon forms and learning how to use Scree are keys to your success in Primal. Can you face your inner demons? Yeah.